don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host Salas Ifiawe. Today, I'm going to start with the news on a sad note. I'm going to give you details about Junior Agogo. We all know what happened to Junior Agogo. He died on the 22nd of August 2019 this year, and he died at the age of 40 years. We all know Junior Agogo was suffering with stroke and recovered, but I think ultimately he died in the end. And I'm going to give you more details about his funeral service, which will be held this friday in london i'm also going to talk to you about caleb kuman who suffered an injury in training and it will be out for a further two months and finally we'll talk about akono i brought you a story here he was up for a job a top guinean job unfortunately ck akono did not secure that job as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know junior agogo was one of us one of the black stars players in his heyday he played for ghana in the afcon 2008 and it was great to see him in action he was an immense player for the black stars and it was really really electric and interesting amazing to see him on the pitch his dedication he gave his heart out to the black stars played so well for ghana who finished third in that competition we hosted here in accra kumase and takra so Kuma junior gogo a few years ago was reportedly suffering from stroke unfortunately he revealed after that news broke that most of his teammates had abandoned him and they were not in touch with him and it was quite sad a revelation quite a sad revelation from him that teammates that he had played with were not seeking or talking to him or were not in touch with him goalkeeper richard kinston came out to apologize to junior gogo but i didn't know how far they got to reach out to him and unfortunately junior gogo passed away this year on the 22nd of august i brought you that breaking news Ghanaians shared their thoughts on him and what they thought of him but it was too little too late the man had demised and now he is going to be cremated i think that is what junior gogo wants he'll be cremated this friday in london now junior gogo played for the black stars between 2006 and 2009 he's a former nottingham forest player he played as well in the english league he was played for zamalek who decided not to pay his fees for him he took them to calf took them to fifa and he was finally paid the balance that was owed him he has been through a tumultuous past few years and now he can rest in peace. former late black star striker junior agogo will be cremated on friday 20th september in london to complete his funeral the cremation will be carried out at a private ceremony by his family agogo died on thursday 22nd august after battling with stroke for years tributes were paid him by past and present black stars players as well as former coaches including claude lera who handled him at the 2008 african cup of nations hosted in ghana the funeral will be at palm hotel in hayden way in london so that is the flyer there on your screen agogo died at the age of 40. rest in peace junior agogo condolences to the family this must be really really trying times and we hope junior agogo and his family stay strong in these really really, really sad times it's, it's never easy losing a family member let alone a son a mother has to bury the son and that can be really 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 painful i have to say condolences to the family well wishes in these tough times so junior agogo's funeral will be held this friday if i think it's going to be a private family ceremony as it should and the mother was the one taking care of him and she must be distraught right now condolences to junior gogo and his family you can leave your thoughts of junior gogo in the comments box and let us know what you thought of him and your your fondest memories of junior gogo so i move on to my next story and it has to do with Ghanaian player Caleb Kuban. Now we all know Caleb Kuban who we remembered as the guy who missed the penalty that got knocked us out of AFCON 2019 against Tunisia in the round of 60. Now Caleb Kuban scored on his debut as well for Ghana in the AFCON qualifiers in Accra here against Kenya and it was a 1-0 victory. He came on as a substitute and subsequently scored in the following friendly against Mauritania. Now Caleb Kuban 
had a great start to his Black Stars career, but unfortunately, in AFCON 2019, which was his debut tournament for the Black Stars, he was the villain on this occasion, missing the penalty that knocked Ghana out of AFCON 2019. Now, Caleb Kuban has suffered an injury in training for his club side, Traps on Sport, and he will be out for two months. Yesterday, he had a surgery for that injury and he will hopefully be back on his feet in two months time and i don't think he'll be able to take part in them in november there will be some other friendlies before the year draws to a close ghana striker Caleb kuban is said to be sidelined for six weeks after sustaining an injury in traps and souls training on wednesday now the 25 year old hitman suffered an injury setback and could miss four to six weeks of action he picked up the injury in training after breaking a bone in his left foot following a challenge by Fernandez. The informed forward, who has scored five in seven games already this season, will miss the games against Genkerl Belergi, Getafe in the Europa League, Sevaspor and Besiktas. The Kuban has been a key player for Trabzonspor since joining them from English Championship side Leeds United. He joins Abdul Kader. Omar and Yusuf Sari in the treatment room. In his absence, coach Unal Kamaran will be forced to depend on former Liverpool forward Daniel Sturridge and on loan Crystal Palace forward Adam Sorloff. So that is the latest on Caleb Kuban. Hopefully he will be back from his injury very soon. He has had his surgery. You can see him here in your picture having his surgery and hopefully he'll be back in the next two Man. So that is it with Caleb Kuban, Ghanaian player who plays for the Black Stars and for Traps on Sport in Turkey. To my final story, it has to do with coach, former Kumasi Asante Kotoko coach CK Akono. He was in contention for a Guinea job, Guinea national team job, and unfortunately, CK Akono missed out on that. Now, Ghana legend Charles Kwabla Akono has missed out on coaching the Guinea national team as Frenchman has been handed the vacant post. This comes after French coach Didier Six, who was handed the post on Friday and tasked to steer the side to greatness. Didier Six landed a job after attending the interview on Thursday and notified of the decision to give him the job thanks to an extensive experience in Africa. The decision of the Guinea Football Federation to hand the, the job to Six also confirmed some news reports in Ghana that Akuno had been handed the job as false. Akuno 45 was among 17 coaches shortlisted for the job last week after the post became vacant after the AFCON 2019 tournament in Egypt. Now, the former Asante Kotoko Gafa was hand named in the shortlist to, for those to be considered, but the Sili National looked to be cons to have concentrated on French-speaking coaches. Guinea is a francophone country. As such, French-speaking coaches were given the preference in the selection process which has gone against Akono. Akono was part of 87 candidates that submitted their CV for the job. He was part of five candidates shortlisted out of the for the interview on Thursday as they attended, presented their project to the Federation. DJ6 has had stints with African sides such as Togo and Mauritius. The ex holzberg player was seeking to join the West African nation as a replacement to Paul Pitt, who was sacked after Guinea was eliminated from AFCON 2019 in Egypt at the round of 16 stage. Akuno has vast experience in coaching with his stint at Ghana Premier League side Heart of Folk, Dreams FC, Ashanti Gold, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and relegated second D11 wise. He was has been without a club since parting ways with Kumasi Asante Kotoko a few weeks ago after leading them to the normalization committee, special competition tier one trophy so that is it with kumasi asante kotoko coach former kumasi asante kotoko coach ck akono unfortunately he could not land a job as the new guinea manager and he lost it to dda6 who the guinean federation football federation field has a lot of extensive experience with african teams so that has been it for today but before i leave you the referees for Kumasi Asante Kotoko's clash, return clash with Etoile du Sahel, is an Egyptian referee. Also, the referee for Ash Gold's clash, Aris Berkani, is a Rwandan referee. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments box. I'll be giving you more details, their names, their officials, and who are those going to take over 
the match so that has been it for today looking at the funeral arrangements for junior agogo who passed away a month ago and also i've been talking about ck akono who unfortunately could not land a job as guinea's new manager and caleb Kuban's injury that has ruined him out for two months i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day